As for uh, this question here, it says, Super Salafis, then my advice to you, uh, Akhil Kareem, and to any other uh, person, is what Allah says in the Quran, Wala tanabazu bil alqab. Allah says, do not call each other names. Do not give each other names. All right, that's what Allah says. Now, what your Sheikh or this Sheikh of Funan says is a different issue. But Allah Azza wa Jalla said, do not throw these derogatory names at each other. That's firstly. Secondly, a person being attributed to the Salaf of Salih is a praise. Okay, is lauding someone. As for many people today who call themselves Salafi, we find that they're the furthest from the Salaf. The furthest and the most remote from the Salaf in knowledge and action. Rather, in creed, you find their Aqidah is in one place and the Aqidah of the Salaf is in a whole other place. And from the most obvious things of this is Al Iman. Okay, we, have, we find the Salaf saying something about Iman and people saying totally different. People who say they give themselves this title, we're Salafi, and you find that they're Murjia. They don't even believe that Iman fluctuates. Whether they say it with their tongues or whether they clearly say it with their actions. And that is a very serious concept. So when a person says that he's Salafi, is a responsibility. Those ulama, those ulama who say it's permissible to say that, they say it comes with weight. Okay, talk is cheap. So we should be careful who we give this term to. All right, uh, you find many people who are ignorant. What the other Rude, evil, jealous people that are far from knowledge and far from the books of the people of knowledge. And you give them the term Salafi? La, that's this Teskia. Okay, so we should be careful with that. Second of all, calling someone a super Salafi, that's even worse. Okay, we have to be in the middle, of course, not to the right, not to the left. Balance between Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He called us Muslims in the Quran al Kareem. Allah called us Muslims. So between Allah Azza wa Jal, the Muslims, we ask that Allah Azza wa Jal make us from Ahlul Sunnah wal Jamaah, Ahlul Hadith. Insha Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we should all be careful with giving each other names and titles. Um, and it goes on both ways. Some people are derogatory. Some people give themselves titles. And what the Billah, they never ever give themselves a title that Allah gave them. And that's very, 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 very dangerous. Not once or twice, those ulama who said this, you can say this, and it's permissible, and it may be obligatory. Those ulama who had that opinion of those ulama, not Kitab and Sunnah, those ulama, those scholars, they never said it like you're saying it. To distinguish yourself is one thing, and to give yourself a total different title other than Muslim is something like night and day. So therefore, when we read the books of the people of the past, um, we find them calling themselves Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Ahlul Hadith. That's the title they gave uh, to the people of the Sunnah. They call themselves Ahlul Hadith or Atba' Salaf. I'll give you one qu quick example of this from the greatest scholars who lived. I didn't say necessarily the greatest, but from them, without any doubt, is Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. In his book, Al Fatwa al Hamawiyya, um, the term Salaf is mentioned about my memory says me correctly maybe 30 times and every time he talks about it he says he talks about way of the salaf the tariqah of the salaf understanding of the salaf the term salafi to give yourself that term and to stick to it and attach it to yourself and we have the muslims and we have the salafis did the did shaykh al-islam ibn taymiyyah say that when he made that statement la aybara man adhara madhab as-salaf wa ilayhi wa he says there's no harm there's no sin upon the one who uh, manifests the way of the Salaf, who attributes himself to it, who claims to be upon that way. Did he, did he himself say he was Salafi? This is something that needs to be pondered on. And another concept is, is the only way of ascribing yourself to the Salaf is by saying Salafi? Yeah, you can ascribe yourself to something without having to specifically say that. All right, Just as a person says, I'm from Pakistan. He doesn't always have to say, I'm Pakistani. My nationality is Pakistan. I'm from Pakistan. I grew up in Pakistan. So there's more than one way of ascription. We don't want to get too far into these details. It's just general advice for both sides. Don't call each other names. Akhi, don't be wary of calling someone Salafi or Super Salafi. There's no need to say this and there's no need to say that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely knows best. That is in brief, as I said. It's not a lecture in which I'm giving you the ruling on calling yourself Salafi. Is it permissible? Is it impermissible? Is it a good or a bad thing? That's not what we're talking about. We're just giving some guidelines and shedding some general light. General light. So please, no one take my words outside of context. No one going to say, oh, the brother said you can't say yourself Salafi. Or he says, well, he says, call yourself Salafi. I never said neither of those two statements.